Hello, welcome to News Alert. Being a teacher is not easy, and teaching English as a second language takes a little more effort. However, I want to tell you the story of Mrs. Nas, who opens her heart for her students daily. Her classroom is always full, not only with her students, but also with other students who know they will be always welcome in Mrs. Nas' room. With this, I am telling you that almost all sociolinguistics approaches make sense. The word empathy found an excellent representation in Mrs. Nasker. But now we will talk about a little bit of the socialization of the language. Also, we will talk about identity and the community of practice. But let's start with socialization of the language, which is a fundamental aspect of language development in humans. And this occurs from an early age, beginning in the childhood and continuing through all the life. This includes learning to follow the rules of conversation, adapting language to different contexts and situations, and using appropriate communication strategies. And so it is during the classes of Mrs. Nasker, who thanks God is bilingual. But not just that, she knows the words, she knows the idioms that her students from different nationalities handle. They are mostly Puerto Rican students. Not only was incredible to see how she communicated with them, but also she understood and understand their culture. She knew more than any teacher in the high school about the culture and the idiosyncrasies of the people from Puerto Rico. The language they speak and the ways they use it can influence how they perceive themselves and how they are perceived by others in the community. Within an academic community such as the high school and a city that discriminates against Hispanic, Mrs. Nasker respects and values the culture of each of her students. Students know that they can speak English or Spanish in the class. In the past, students used to avoid to speak in other language that is not English, but now many of those students consider themselves as bilingual because they understand both languages now, and this increases their uh, self-esteem. Not only that, but it also creates a community of practice. From the moment they arrive to the class, they know they belong. But beyond everything that was exposed or taught in the classroom, which looked like a meeting of the United Nations with representatives of Colombia, Puerto Rico, Mexico, Honduras, China, and also from El Congo, it was that all these students felt welcome inside of the classroom of Miss Nasker. They felt part of the group, which we know is very important for kids in high school. It was amazing to see girls from Puerto Rico spoke with Google Translator and signs and also with laughter speaking with the students from the democracy from, from El Congo. And I can tell you because I tried to learn it, Swahili is really complicated. So in the class we were able to hear a mix of Spanish, English and Swahili. Sometimes nobody seemed to understand anything, but they did. They achieved the communication because they try and also because they learn how to be kind with each other no matter which was the culture each one of them bring to the class. They learn to respect because they learn that respect from Mrs. Natsker because I can tell you she respect the kids, she respect uh, the, uh, the culture of each one of them, allow them to speak in the mother tongue if they want to, in the, if they want to, if they need to, and also make them feel proud of their own culture. That's why beyond learning English as a second language, the students learn the true meaning of friendship, respect, and solidarity. I think it's important the socialization of the language, I, I think it's important. All these sociolinguistic theories, because they are telling us that we must not just see an English learner like like that. We must think 
in in all the factors that surround the person, like where they coming from, how is their culture, uh, in which conditions they arrive to the country, who they were before they arrive here, because sometimes maybe they don't have very good grades now that they are here and they are, it's in English. But uh, I remember one chapter of Modern Family, well, Gloria said, you don't know how smart I am in my mother language. I used to have to translate everything in my head before I say it, to have people laugh in my face because I'm struggling to find the words. You should try talking in my shoes from one mile. I know what I meant to mean. Do you know how smart I am in Spanish? Of course you don't. <laughs> I can tell you myself, maybe because right now I'm making a lot of mistakes. Uh, uh, it's easy for me to write it <laughs> than to just to speak. Maybe I, I sound, I don't sound very professional right now, but I can tell you, you don't know how smart I am in my mother tongue in Spanish. Really, I am really smart in Spanish. That's what Mrs. Nasker does. I can tell you that's why the kids love her. And that's why I wanted to point her here in the news alert. Thank you, Mrs. Nasker, for because I was working with her. It's refreshing to see somebody from the United States treating immigrants in the way she does. She is just an amazing person, an amazing teacher. More than that, she values the human being that each one of us we are, you know. Thank you, Mrs. Nasker.